Welcome students. In this tutorial video, we are going to create our first web page. Every web page should be based on HTML language. So here is an our basic HTML language structure to create a web page. This structure should follow for every web page. Here you can see every web page should started with HTML tag and ended with HTML tag with front slash. This is our opening tag. This is our closing tag. Okay. So this is a container tag which contains all the HTML coding in a web page. With this HTML containing tag, there are two blocks. One is head blocks. There is head opening tag, head closing tag and another one is body tag. The, there are two parts covering this web page. One part is head tag, head open and head close. This is also container tag with a tag which have its closing tag. This tag is known as container tag and one is body tag. Within head part, we should write the title of the web page. What is title? Title of the web page means whenever we view the web page on a browser, then this title will display displayed in the title bar of the web page okay we know that every window has a title bar so a, the file name should display it in the title bar so whatever we write as a title that will display it in the title bar whenever we open the web page in the browser okay now this is our body part so what is body part body part content holds the content which we want to view in the web page all the coding part which we want to view in the html web page whenever you open the with open this page in the browser that will should that should written within the body this head part should not viewed in the web page this only viewed in the title bar okay so body part is must for every web page head part is optional if you don't give head part then the title will not display the title in the title bar it will display this uh, default web page name and if you give any title name that will display in the web page okay so let us start so at first the yes, this is our first web page so we should write one title obviously title title is my first web page with its closing title is also a closing tag so it also have opening and closing tag okay now within the body we write two sentence this is my first web page this is one sentence and in next line we should write welcome to my web page okay so this is our html coding this is a one web page so, so in the body part we write here write two sentence you have seen that we write in two lines and this is our title bar okay now every web page should be saved with dot html extension so at first i'm going to save it save it in a specific folder you should create a folder before creating the web page so you should create a folder our is first page okay with dot extension name here i am creating a folder i have already have created a folder html file so in that page i have write it this first web okay now going to save it okay now we can view this in our browser either google chrome or mozilla firefox any browser whatever which browser you have in your pc so here i am opening it with mozilla here you see here you see this is our web page so we have all you have seen that i have written there two lines one line says this is my first web page and another line is web, welcome to my web page okay 
as uh, this is a mobile version Mozilla Firefox so title bar is not shown here so whenever you open it through your PC so it the title will be displayed in the title bar okay but one thing you see here that in our body parts we will write these two sentences into separate line but it will display a, in a single line in the browser that means what does it mean it means that whether we write it in a separate line in our coding the two lines it will not act as a separate line in the browser it will act as a single line in the browser in order to separate the two lines to view the page in the browser so we have to use some tag what is the tag where we want the line break before that line we have to use br tag okay br br is an empty tag empty tag means this tag does not have closing tag what line you want in our in the next line from where from that point from where you want the to partition the line break the line you should write br at the beginning of that line okay now you see You must save the file here you see this two page comes in two separate line okay so why it comes because in our coding we have used BR before welcome to my page that's why this line comes into next line okay Again, if we want my web page, this into next line, then we should write BR here. BR. Okay. From where? My web page. Then you see, then you can see my web page will come in the, in our next line. My web page, you see here. It comes next line. So clear? That means BR is an empty tag which tag have no closing tag from where we want to break the line simply write br before that line okay now we are going to write give effect bold italic underline so for bold suppose we want to do this line bold so what we'll do only before that line we have to use b tag and close it b tag is in container tag so this is our opening tag and this is our closing tag b tag b tag is used to bold the statement within open and closing tag that means only this is my first web page this statement will have f effect of the bold tag let us see Here you can see this is my first web page okay it has bold effect the others two line has no bold effect because because we have closed B tag here if we close instead of here after this so you see here this open and closing tag contains these two lines this is my first web page and welcome to so these two line will be have the bold effect okay now so this is our bold effect now we want to italic effect we want to italic effect only this is my first web page so which portion we want to italic effect that portion that statement should contain the italic tag italic tag is given by i so it should be it is opening tag and from un, up to which you want to do the italic effect you close here suppose we only want first line so we 
open it here and close it here then you see you see this is my first web page only this line will have the opening uh, italic effect but these two line has a bold effect because because bold is ended here and italic is only this line contains the italic effect okay now if we want to underline these three lines okay these three lines so its starting point is this so here we we'll, should write u u for underline and at the end we want these two three lines underline effect so we want this is opening and this is closing underline tag okay you see that this three line will have the bold italic underline this three effect okay so this is very much easier whatever you want you just can right starting at the starting the opening term and up to which you want to do the effect you write here the underline term now if we want to move any statement at the middle so here we write one statement suppose kolkata i want this at the middle of the statement uh, you all you have already known that every statement whatever we write we have we don't write here br that is this comes into the same line that is first point next point i want kolkata at the middle of the web page every statement with at first shows is left alignment but i want this center so first of all in order to break it we have to give one br statement here this is first thing second thing is kolkata should be enclosed with center tag center tag is an tag which is used to move any statement any content at the middle of the page you see here kolkata comes at the middle of the page if you want all the three statement at the middle of the page what you should do simple remove the center from closing tag from here and put it at the end okay you see all the things will come at the middle of the web page clear now we are going to use another thing that is known as heading tag what is heading tag heading tag is h1 tag is known as heading tag it means that you see here this is the effect of heading tag this means that we have right here h1 tag h1 tag is an heading tag what does what does it mean it means if you use h1 tag you don't have to give the bold effect separately okay here in order to do bold effect there you have used b tag but if you use heading tag it automatically has the bold effect with an h1 tag so you don't have to use b tag separately we all know that whatever we want to do as an heading tag so that must be bold in nature and h1 for h1 tag its font size is larger okay there are six heading tags h2 similarly h3 similarly h4 there are six heading tag like this way okay and only what differences is there there are differences is that only its size gets decreasing as its number gets increases that means font size 
its font size get decreasing as its number gets increases okay here you see h1 h2 you can use any one of it whatever you want okay so run it here you can see you have already known this is for h1 tag this is h2 this is for h3 this is for h4 this is for h5 this is for h6 every tag should have every tag has the effect of bold only the font size is decreasing when the h1 heading number is increases we can use any one of it according to our choice okay this is our heading tag so what we learnt in this web page we have learnt our title tag our center tag br tag bold italic underline tag and all the heading tags okay these are our heading tags all our heading tags